hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to resume our discussion on uh, digital electronics okay especially related to boolean expressions Carnot map so so far in the previous videos we have discussed uh, simplification of boolean expressions using k map Carnot map three variable four variable expressions so in the previous questions what we used to do is uh, we all know k map simplification which is related to sop sum of products and pos product of sum format so what we used to do is that if the sop expression uh, the boolean expression okay so the boolean expression is in sop form min term format we used to use a sop k map okay and if it is in pos format max term format then we used to use a pos k map so it is a subtle difference between SOP and POS K map, which is related to here in SOP the complemented variable stands for zero, the uncomplemented variable it stands for one. Here it is the opposite. The complemented variable stands for one, the uncomplemented variable stands for zero. It is in product form and then the results they are summed together and here it is in sum form and it is in product i have already discussed a lot related to sop pos min term max term format so please check out the previous videos now in the next series of questions what we will do is that here we'll be implementing sop expressions using pos k map and pos expressions using sop k map so this will be particularly helpful suppose you are comfortable with sop k map okay you like the format of the sop k map this format you like it then what you can do is that you can always stick with sop k map whether the expression is in sop form or pos form it does not make any difference to you you use the same k map format for both SOP and POS expression simplification. Similarly, if you are comfortable with the format of POS K map for two, three, uh, four variable, whatever, if you are comfortable with the POS K map format, then you can simplify both POS as well as SOP expressions using POS K map. Okay, just you have to make some uh, changes at the last. The procedure will be the same, the same mapping will be done same group formation then identification of the common variables but there will be some minor changes at last uh, done to the resultant variable expression which you will get that will be done depending on what type of expression uh, is used and what type of format of k map we are using so far we have done like this sop for sop pos for pos okay here we'll do the cross okay opposite so uh, the next series of videos will be related to this so this is the first question uh, which we are going to discuss and here if you notice the expression the boolean expression which is given it is given in pos form max terms okay the expression is pos expression sum of max uh, product of sum terms or max terms and the k map format which we have taken is sop type so this is pos expression and this is sop k map so the point is to map this pos expression in sop k map and then simplify this pos expression and get the result in pos format so normally in the previous questions what we used to do 
we used to map this whole POS expression in POS K map. Okay, here it is SOP K map. So I would like you to please watch all the videos related to K map Boolean expressions so that you understand the next series of videos in a better way. So this is the format like we used to do in all POS and SOP questions, K map questions. So here first we will map it. So we know that POS or max terms they're applicable for zero and SOP is for one. So here we'll mark the respective cells as zero where it is there two, three, six, seven, the max terms. So here this is zero, this is zero, two, three, six and seven. So here we can group these four adjacent cells as a quad. Okay. So all the cells have been covered, marked cells have been covered. So only thing now we have to do is find the common term. So directly we'll do. So you can see in the horizontal side in this group there is nothing common here it is a complement here it is a so nothing common on the horizontal side on the vertical side we have bc and bc bar so here you can see b is common b is common in both these vertical sides so here it is y is equal to b that is the common but this will be in sop format because we are using sop k map the pos simplified expression will be simply take the complement of this b bar this is the required pos expression okay this is the required POS expression which we want okay so this is what we want b bar y bar is equal to b bar this is the required POS expression simplified expression okay so this is the second question related to mapping of POS expressions in SOP K map. So we have a POS expression here given in terms of the max term values and we have the format of the SOP K map. So same thing we'll do. So we'll map these max terms into the respective marked cells 0, 2, 4, 6. Okay. So POS, so we will mark the respective cells as 0. 0, 2, 4 and 6 ok so here what we can do is we can group the cells as this this and this so a quad is formed now we have to identify the common variables so you can see directly we'll do so in the horizontal side you see horizontal side there is nothing common here it is a bar here it is a nothing common in the vertical side this and this from these two c bar is common c bar is common so here it is y is equal to c bar but it was in sop form because we are using sop K map. In order to get the POS uh, expression, simply take the complement of this, the result which you get. That will be C double complement, which is equal to C only. This is the required POS simplified expression. So if you use a POS K map, you will get the same expression. But here we are using SOP K map 
to simplify POS expression. This is simply, you know, an alternative method. You, if you are comfortable with using POS KMAP for POS expression, that is fine. But I just wanted to show you a different approach. Suppose you are comfortable using SOP KMAP, then you can plot both SOP and POS expressions in SOP KMAP. Same thing we'll do for POS also. We'll map SOP expressions in POS KMAP. So just you have different options which one you want to take that is up to you.